gentlemen, welcome back to the shop of Santa Claus. He done come late, but uh, boy howdy, he done come good. Check it out, yo. So this is a tool that I had made. I would like to say I made it myself, but I made it as a prototype in order to do videos about how to get things manufactured in small scale. Now this is, as you can see, quite plainly, a beautiful screwdriver. It's got some interesting features, but this design was sent to me from the guy that runs the tool restoration channel. He sent me a bunch of JPEGs of beautiful old vintage tools, which you just can't find anymore. I took those JPEGs, ran with them, got with a buddy of mine, paid him good money to do the prototyping. You can see here his company is Orange Designs, uh, Chris DePrisco. He ha he's partnered up with Datums on the uh, subreddit. They do a bunch of uh, mechanical keyboards, but he also got a job in the interim though. I got him to uh, design the files and machine some prototypes of this specific driver. Now this is very special. And it's, it's more of a study in low volume, custom or semi-custom special tool manufacturing because people suggest, hey, you're so fucking smart, why don't you make some tools? Well, this is that. Unfortunately, ain't nobody can buy them because they're too damn expensive. I'll tell you why. It's titanium. Why titanium? One, it's hard as shit to machine. <laughs> Makes it more difficult. Uh, two, but besides that, it's very, very stiff. It's non-magnetic. It's non-marring. There's no carbon pickup for stainless steels if you're working on stainless steels. Now, the thing is about flat-bladed screwdrivers is if you have a small one, this is, this is what I would ca call a side pocket size. So just a nice a nice size to fit in the side pocket of your coveralls or your Carhartts. Uh, also in the front pocket here, fits for service guys. It's titanium, super light. So if you got to climb up uh, a raise or you got to, you know, something like that, uh, you got to climb a crane, super lightweight. But this is essentially for poking, prodding, jamming, and uh, otherwise prying shit apart. Over the coming months, you'll very likely see this a great many times in order to get my money's worth out of it. But we need to um, have a look. He did a, Chris did a lovely job on the tool paths, but there's still a few little, little tweaks what could be made. There's the finish. You can see all the chips. Each little chip taken out of there. And if we continue on, Let's move over here. A few little tool marks. Oh no, wow. Okay, one thing I see which I do not like is at the interface where the tool, tool paths merge. The two tool paths merge. Say that seven times quick. There's a bit of a ledge there. So we'll have to um, we'll have to correct the tool path to get rid of that little edge, and then on the blade itself, I see there's a little blip, which would not concern anyone in their right mind. But as it is that I have a disease, yeah, you see here. So we fucked up on that. You got a big gouge, well, a microscopic gouge in that uh, side of the blade itself. Look at that. That's fucking beauty. Look at that. Look at that. That's something else. Uh, just in the past couple of years, I've been a convert to wood handled screwdrivers. Feel great in the hand and excellent, excellent grip. One problem we see here is some, some edgewise grain showing, so we'll have to watch that. The other concern I have now looking at this, this old design is these wedges. So if you impact it here and it wants to cock over a little bit or squeeze over, it might pop this right off or crack it. So I have to test that a little bit, but 
So you see what we're doing here. I was stoked about this. I hope I hope you catch the irony here. What we're doing is we're taking a very simple tool what over the past 50 years has gone down in quality so much so that now you buy a tool and it's essentially disposable. It's a throwaway item and they're so cheap and so ubiquitous that there's just no soul to them. What we're doing is we're taking that, flipping it on its head. We're making an heirloom what your sons, 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 sons will be using, and daughters potentially, or none of the above. Hey, who am I to judge? Skookum as fucking frig. Just ridiculously <laughs> overbuilt to the point where it comes becomes a, an objet d'art, an art object, an heirloom. And I don't know where this is going to take us, but it's sure fun making beautiful, beautiful, beautiful items. Incredible. This, of course, is the first iteration. We're going to have some more iterations. And also, we're going to do the small-scale manufacturing. We'll do the, the, the prototyping and all that sort of stuff. So I'll get with Chris. We'll get some footage on how that sort of looks and how you go about doing small-scale uh, manufacturing. I think it should be an interesting project all the way around. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I fucking love it. Keep your dick in a vice.